Hi, welcome to 24-7 Fitness Virtual Personal Trainer in Wensbury. My name is Jess and I'm gonna be your personal trainer today. So if you're ready for your workout, let's go. For our warm up today, we're gonna to use the treadmill. Treadmill's great for this. You'll be working all over the body, getting your heart rate nice and warm, ready for the workout ahead. Now what we need to do here, as you stand on, stand onto the side plates first, you're not standing on the belt. Walk forward and then what we need to do, we've got this panel, you need to press quick start first, move the incline up to two zero, and then we're gonna move the speed into a fast walking pace. When the belt starts moving, one foot on, then start walking onto the belt, and then you begin your warm up. You'll be doing your warm up for five minutes. When you finish your warm up, just press the red stop button and then you're ready to begin your workout. The next machine we'll be using is called the lap pull down. The lap pull down is gonna be working on your back and also you'll feel it in your arms slightly as well. Remember, if you can't do any more than six, it's too heavy or if you can do more than 12, it's too light. From there, set your weight, come round, hands go onto the handlebars, Pull that down as you sit down. Keep that back straight, pull it into the top of your chest, and then gently back up, not overstretching. Pull it back down again. One, two, three. Now give me 10 reps. First set done, let's go on to our second set. Add some more weight if you can. Then come round, hands go wide onto the bar, sit down and then pull that into the top of your chest, gently back up. One, two, three. Now give me 10 reps. Second set done, let's go on to our third set. Again, add some more weight if you can. And then hands go nice and wide, pull that down into your chest. One, two, three. Now give me 10 good reps. Final set done, let's move on to the next exercise. This exercise, what we'll be doing is assisted pull-ups. So assisted pull-ups is using this machine with the assist and a weight. Now, this is gonna be working on your back and also you'll feel it in your arms as well. Remember, if you can do no more than six, it's too heavy. If you do more than 12, it's too light. Now. From there, with this weight here, you need to make sure you've got more than half your body weight as your working weight. So to do this, pop it in, come round, step up, and place your hands on to the wide grip bars. Stand onto the platform, and it will lower yourself down. Control, and make sure elbows are underneath your wrist, and pull up all the way to the top. Gently back down and up again. One, two, three. Now give me 10 reps. So first set done, let's move on to the second set. Remember with this machine, the lighter the weight, the harder it is. So move it up so it's a lighter weight to work your body harder. Step up. Hands go out wide, feet go on, and gently go down, nice control. Then from there, lift up and down, and again. One, two, three. Now give me 10 reps. This exercise is called the seated row or the low row. Now, what you'll be working on here is your back and also you'll feel it in your arms as well. To set this machine up, use the lever on the seat to set the seat height. Come round, sit down, and make sure the pad is midline of your chest. Then from there, we wanna be a bit further back, so about arm's length. Use the pulley here, bring it back out or forward, and then you wanna be about arm's length. Set your weight. If you can do no more than six, it's too heavy. If you can do more than 12, it's too light. Grab hold of the levers 
onto the grips. And then from there, keep your back straight. As you pull this in, wrists and elbows are aligned and then control as the arms go straight again and you'll feel it in your back. One, two, three. Now give me 10 reps. First set done, let's go to the second set. Add some more weight if you can. And again, hands go onto the grips. Keep that back straight, pull that all the way in. Feel it, squeeze in the back and then arms go straight. One, two, three. Now give me 10 reps. That's the second set done. Let's move on to our final set. Again, move that weight up, work it a little bit harder. Hands go back on, pull that in, feel the squeeze, and then gently back out. Control. One, two, three. Now give me 10 good reps. Final set done, let's move on to the next exercise. Second set done, let's go on to our third and final set. Again, remember the weight. The lighter the weight, the harder you'll be working. Put it in, come round and stand up. From there, hands go back out wide, feet on, gently go down, really working now. Squeeze up, work the back, and gently back down. One, two, three. Now give me 10 good reps. Final set done, let's move on to the next exercise. This exercise is called deadlifts. What you'll be working on, you'll be working on the whole of your body, but targeting your back mainly. To do this exercise, you'll need an Olympic barbell, which is 20 kilograms, and then also you can choose optional weights on the end. To do this exercise, walk up to the bar, feet are about hip width apart. From there, make sure your toes are the other side of the bar so you can see them. Keeping that back straight, lower down, making sure hands on the bar just outside of your waist. Back straight, head up, pull the bar up, into your waist, and then from there, tip from the hip, and lower all the way back down, keeping that back straight. Pull up again, squeeze the shoulder blades, and then from there, lower down again. One, two, three. Now give me 10 reps. So first set done, let's move on to our second set. And again, add some more weight. Slide it onto the end and place the clip on too. Walk around, walk around into the middle of the bar. Make sure toes, you can see them popping out the other side. Keep that back straight, lower down, hands onto the bar, just outside your waist. Back straight, head up, deadlift up, bar into the middle, tip from the hip, lower down, and raise again. One, two, three. Now give me 10 reps. Second set done, let's go on to our final set. Again, add some more weight and make sure that weight is equal on both sides of the bar. Put the clip back on, walk into the middle, and again, toes the other side of the bar. Keep that back straight, deadlift up, and then tip from the hip, keeping that back straight, head up, and then again, up, one, two, Three. Now give me 10 good reps. Final set done, let's go on to the next exercise. So the next machine we'll be using is what we call the arm curl. The arm curl works the front of your arm to your bicep. Now, to use this machine, set the seat height so that your elbow is in line with the movement bar. Adjust the weight. And make sure, if you can do no more than six, it's too heavy. If you can do more than 12, it's too light. Hands go onto the grips. Keep that back nice and flat. Curl the bar up and gently back down. One, two, three. Now give me 10 reps. Okay, first set done. Let's move on to the second set. Move the weight up if you can. 
Hands go onto the grips. Make sure your back's nice and flat. Curl the arms all the way up. Gently back down. And again. One. Two. Three. Now give me 10 reps. Second set done. Let's move on to our final set. Again, move the weight up if you can. Hands go onto the grips. Curl all the way up. Really feel it in the front of your arms so your biceps and gently back down. One, two, three. Now give me 10 reps. Final set done. Let's move on to the next exercise. The next exercise we'll be doing is what we call cable curls and we'll be using the cable pulley machine for this as well. This muscle will be working your biceps so the front of your arm. To set this up, what we need to do is make sure that this is right at the bottom and it's clicked in and then we're using the straight bar for the cable curls as well. Make sure that's clipped in. Setting your weight. If you can do no more than six, it's too heavy. If you can do more than 12, it's too light. Then from there, crouch down, pick up the straight bar with an underhand grip, stand up, elbows tucked into the side of your body, curl up just below your chin, and then all the way back down so arms go straight again. One, two, three. Now give me 10 reps. That's the first set done. Let's move on to the second set. Add some more weight if you can. Crouch down, underhand grip. Tuck the elbows into the side of your body. Keep that back straight. Curl up just below your chin and all the way back down. One, two, three. Now give me 10 reps. Second set done. Let's move on to our final set. Again, add some more weight. Pick up the bar. Keep that back straight, curl the bar up and all the way back down. One, two, three. Now give me 10 good reps. Final set done, let's move on to the next exercise. Our next exercise is called the dumbbell curl. So for this one, curls, you're gonna work the bicep, front of the arm. For this, you just need a set of dumbbells. Now, keep the back straight as you pick them up, and they start down by your side. Then from there, keeping the back straight, we use one arm at a time, lift up, curl towards the top of your shoulder, and then back down. Make sure the elbow stays close to your body so you don't move it out, and then all the way back down so arms go straight. What we do is get a slight little twist at the top, and then back down. One, two, Three. Now give me 10 reps. That's the first set done. Let's move on to the second set. Try some heavier dumbbells now. Keep that back straight. Pick them up and they stay down by your side. Lift up, a little twist in the middle and then gently back down. Control on the way back down. Up again and back down. One, two, three. Now give me 10 reps. Second set done, let's move on to our final set. Again, let's use some heavier dumbbells. Keep that back straight, pick them up, and then down by your side. Lift up, keep the elbow in close to the body, and then back down. One, two, three. Now give me 10 good reps. Final set done, well done. Now let's move on to our cool down. For your cool down today, we're gonna to use the treadmill. Now, the treadmill, you work all over the body. Just be careful as you're standing on. So we stand onto the side plates first, not the belt. Then from there, walk forward in front of the panel. To switch it on, press quick start. Move the incline up slightly to two zero. And then from there, we're just gonna go for a fast walking pace. So move the speed up as well. The belt will start moving. Be careful as you stand on. And then you'll be doing your cool down for five minutes. When you finish that five minutes, make sure you press the red stop button. And then you'll be ready for your stretches.
Time to do our stretches, shoulders back and relaxed, abs pull tight, pull the chin to the chest, feel the next stretch. We're gonna hold this for 10 seconds. That's it, keep it going. Then from there, arms extended forward. Feel that back stretch. We're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. That's it, feel that stretch in the top of the back. Good. Then from there, reach up. Feel that stretch, really reach up. Feel that in the sides. Keep it going. That's good. Good. Excellent. Then from there, bring it down. Hands go behind your back. Extend forward. Feel that chest stretch. Elbows pull together. Feel that stretch. Good. 10 seconds. And then from there, arm comes over forward. Make sure you don't pull on your elbow. Feel that stretch. Good, again, hold for 10 seconds. Excellent, arm comes underneath. Other side, don't pull on your elbow. Feel that stretch. Good, holding for 10 seconds. Excellent. Shoulder roll. Excellent, good, and again. Good, one more go. Perfect. Take a hold of the foot, put it through, knees together, push that hip forward and feel that stretch. Excellent, bring that down, swap it over, other side. Excellent, knees together, push that hip forward and feel that stretch through. Excellent, bring that down. Now step forward, bring that down, hands onto the opposite thigh and feel that stretch Hold it for 10 seconds. Excellent. Come back up, swap it over, other side, hands onto the opposite knee, and again, hold that stretch for 10 seconds. We're finished on your workout today. Great job. Thank you for using 24 7 Fitness Virtual Personal Trainer in Wensbury. If you have any questions at all about your workout today, come and ask one of the team. Have a great day, guys. See you later.